Hello viewers, today we are going to detect Salmonella species. This video represents part 1 of this technique. We are going to isolate Salmonella in this part. For the identification of Salmonella, please take a look at part 2. Welcome to Microchem's experiments. Be with us, be a laboratory expert. Let's start the isolation. Isolation of Salmonella involves 6 steps. Culture media and sample preparation, non-selective and selective enrichment, isolation of bacteria and selection of bacteria. For the isolation, we need a balance machine, incubator, biosafety cabinet, autoclave, stomacher, microwave oven, micropipette with tips, burner, stomacher bag, vortex mixture, sterile petri plates, bismuth sulfide agar, RVS and MKTTN growth, xylose lysine deoxycholate agar, and buffered peptin. At first, we will prepare culture media. We can prepare xylose lysine deoxycholate agar media by dissolving 5.66 grams XLD agar powder into 100 ml distilled water. Boil at 100 degrees Celsius in microwave oven for 2 minutes. Distribute 15 ml into sterile plates. To prepare bismuth sulfide agar, dissolve 5.23 grams BSA powder into 100 ml distilled water. Boil at 100 degrees Celsius in microwave oven for 2 minutes. Distribute 15 ml into sterile plates. For the preparation of buffered pepton water solution, dissolve 25.5 grams buffered pepton powder into 1 liter distilled water. Autoclip the medium at 121 degrees Celsius and 15 pounds pressure for 15 minutes. Cool the solution before use. To prepare RVS broth, dissolve 2.71 grams RVS broth powder into 100 ml distilled water. Heat to dissolve the medium completely and distribute 10 ml into glass test tubes. Sterile by autoclaving at 115 degrees Celsius and 15 pounds pressure for 15 minutes. For the preparation of MKTTN broth, dissolve 89.4 grams MKTTN broth powder into 1 liter distilled water. Heat the medium to just boiling and cool it at 45 to 48 degrees Celsius. Add 1 vial of MKTTN supplement and 20 ml iodine iodide solution. Distribute 10 ml into suitable sterile glass test tubes. Now we will prepare our sample. Take 25 grams of sample in a sterile stomacher bag. Label the bag with sample name. Take the sample in biosafety cabinet. In this step, we will enrich the bacteria in non-selective medium named as buffered pepton water. Add 225 ml buffered pepton water with the sample and shake to mix. Now homogenize the sample with buffered pepton water using a stomacher.
incubate the medium at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. After incubation, take out the non-selective enrichment medium from the incubator. In this step, we will enrich the salmonella selectively using two selective enrichment broths, RVS and MKTTN. Transfer 1 ml enriched medium into 10 ml MKTTN broth. Now transfer 100 microliter enriched medium into 10 ml RVS broth. Incubate the inoculated MKTTN broth at 37 degree and RVS broth at 41.5 degree Celsius for 24 hours. Now take out both of the enrichment broths from their incubation condition. Burn an inoculating loop and cool inside the biosafety cabinet. Now we will isolate bacteria by streaking on XLD and BSA plates. Take one loop full of RBS broth culture with the aid of inoculating loop and streak on BSA plate for trial 1. Take one loop full of RBS broth culture with the aid of inoculating loop and streak on BSA plate for trial 2. Streak one loop full of RBS broth culture on XLD plate for trial 1.
streak one look full of RBS broad culture on XLD plate for trial 2. Streak one loop full of MKDD and growth culture on BSA plate. Now streak one loop full of MKDD and growth culture on XLD plate. Incubate the inoculated culture plates at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. Take out the plates after incubation. Now it's time for result observation and Salmonella colony selection. At first, we will observe XLD plates. These plates were streaked with MKDT and growth culture. Typical Salmonella species gives black colonies on XLD agar. You can see many black colonies on the streak lines along with the yellowish colonies. Black colonies are primarily considered as salmonella species. Let's observe the XLD plates which was streaked with RBS broth culture. Many black colonies are seen on streak lines. These black colonies are primarily considered as salmonella. Let's observe the BSA plate. BSA plate with MKDTN culture showed many black to grey colonies which turned the media color into black. We can see BSA plates streaked with RVS broth culture also contains many black to grey colonies which turned the media color into black. These colonies are mainly considered as typical salmonella colonies. We isolated the Salmonella colonies on XLD and BSA plates successfully. Some variant of Salmonella species gives green colony on modified bismuth sulfide agar plate. So if you use modified bismuth sulfide agar and found green colonies on plate, confirm these green colonies by biochemical tests following the second part. Now we need to go for the identification of this suspected Salmonella for further confirmation. Please take a look at our video for the identification of Salmonella in part 2. Video link is given in the description section.